Hello children, welcome to Enjoy Stories. In this series, we will be reading one story every episode. This is a part of my endeavor to encourage children to take to reading and collect books. Wishing all the very best. Today, we will read the story, The Old Man is Always Right. This is one from The Fabulous Tales of Anderson. Long ago, an old peasant couple lived in a small farmhouse. The peasant earned his living by renting his horse to his neighbors. In their small kitchen garden, his wife grew enough vegetables for them to use. One day, the peasant asked his wife, let us sell the horse and buy something useful. What should I exchange it for? The old woman replied, you know best. Whatever you bring will be right for me. The peasant left. On his way, he met a young man taking his cow to the city fair for exchange. The old man thought, this cow will give us milk. So he exchanged his horse for the cow and went on to visit the fair. After walking a short distance, he met another man with a fat sheep. The old man thought, my wife doesn't have woolen clothes. I can rear the sheep for wool. So he exchanged his cow for the sheep. A little later, the old man exchanged the sheep for a goose so that he could sell his eggs and earn money. He finally reached the city fair with his goose. The city fair was full of animals. The old man found a small boy with a fowl. He went to him and asked him, Why are you here? The small boy replied, I came here to exchange my fowl. I am looking for a buyer. The old man looked at the fowl and instantly exchanged his goose for it. He thought, I can raise chickens and have a poultry farm. After a long tiring day, the old man went to an inn for a glass of ale to refresh himself. As he sat on the chair to drink, he met an ostler with a stack of rotten apples on his back. The old man asked, What will you do with these rotten apples? The ostler replied, I will feed them to my pigs. The old man said, That would be a waste. Last year, my wife got an apple and placed it in the kitchen till it was rotten. She said a rotten apple was a property. You can keep my fowl and give me the apples for my wife. The Oslo was more than happy to barter his sack of apples for a fine fowl. Later, the old man's sack was noticed by some sophisticated Englishmen. They asked, what is in this sack? The old man narrated the story of his horse, cow, sheep, goose, fowl, and finally the apples. One Englishman said, your wife will be very angry. The old man spoke innocently. She will kiss me and say, what the old man does is always right. The Englishman would not believe him and said, Let us have a bet. If your wife does not scold you, I will give you a bag of gold coins. The old man agreed and they all drove to his farmhouse. When they reached home, the old man gave his bag of rotten apples to his wife. Then he narrated the story of his horse, cow, 
sheep, goose, fowl, and finally the apples. Surprisingly, his wife kissed him and said, When you left, I wanted to make fried eggs and bacon served with sweet herbs. I asked the Mysa schoolmistress to give me some herbs, but she refused and said that nothing grows in her garden, not even an apple. Now I will give the schoolmistress ten rotten apples and insult her. Then both the old man and old woman burst into laughter. The Englishman who stood hidden behind the door could not stay quiet and said, Your money kept dipping with each bargain, but you both are so joyful. It was worth our money to watch a lovely couple like you. Here are your gold coins as you have won the bet. The old couple thanked the Englishmen and spent the rest of their old age comfortably. Hope you all enjoyed watching this children. Do subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. We will meet again with another story. Thank you.